everyone welcome back to JTest class one more time today we're gonna be talking about DNS uh, we're gonna see what are DNS uh, what is DNS sorry we're gonna see the definition of DNS roles of DNS what is a song on a DNS and what are the records inside a song in a DNS so what is DNS uh, DNS stands for domain name service uh, it is the process of resolve full qualified domain name like www.example.com into an IP address like 128.10.10.10 and IP addresses like 128.10.10.10 into a full qualified domain name like www.example.com so it will resolve like if you write www.google.com or if you write the IP of Google it will show you the uh, website we'll find it for you so DNS is compound of zones and records what is a zone is a domain name like example.com the whole different records for this domain. What is a record then? Record is a pointer to a specific computer or device, like www is a pointer to 128.10.10.10. .10. What is DNS? Service that runs on a client by default, client DNS. So on your computer, when you buy it by default, you have a client DNS, install it. It comes with the OS, like Windows, Linux, Macs, whatever you have, you have a client DNS there is no need to install it so you don't have to worry about it uh, to create a DNS server though you will need a server OS like Windows or Linux and you will need to install the DNS application it's called DNS on Windows system like Windows Server uh, 2003, 8, 12, 16 and it is called BIN on Linux or Unix system systems sorry pros of a DNS server primary DNS can be primary it contains the read and write copies of the zone database so you can modify these zones that's what it means that you can modify the zones that you have on that DNS server or you can modify whatever is inside the zones a secondary DNS server though contains read only copy of the primary so it will have the same zones as the primary does the only difference you will, you won't be able to modify them uh, a master DNS is a DNS that sends the copies to another DNS server and a slave DNS is a server that receives the copies from uh, the master so slave is kind of interconnect to a secondary because it receives copies and a master is kind of interconnected with a primary the only difference is primary and a master differ on that primary has the copy and write uh, zone database when a master the only thing that does is just send the copies to another DNS server so let's see an example here we have a primary server it holds the copies of the DNS set of database the zones database and it is a master because it realizes a zone transfer to a slave or secondary now if this slave or secondary sends a copy to another DNS server it becomes a master here it keeps being a slave from this side to this point here because it's receiving a copy but from this side to the point of sending a copy it becomes a master I'm gonna define master with an M so it becomes a master every time it sends a copy away but it doesn't mean that it's primary primary is only the one that can modify the zones or the records inside the zones now we're gonna see what are the DNS zones. There are two main kinds of zones. It's a forward lookup zone. Uh, it resolves full qualified domain names into an IP address through records, like eight records, and we're gonna talk about those in a bit. Uh, and then there is a reverse lookup zone that resolves IPs into a full qualified domain name. So the first one, what does is it will resolve where is www.example.com. The second one, it will say you will give him the IP and you will find for you the name. So if you write 10.10.10.10, 10 .10 .10 .10, it will give you www.google.com, for example. Okay, uh, DNS records. There are different kind of records. The first one we're gonna see today will be the SOA record. Uh, and it is perhaps the most of important of all the records. Uh, it is created when the SOA is created, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, it will create it for you. Uh, it means start of authority. Uh, it points to the primary SOA and it has a time to leave of the zone so when the zone goes through internet or someone is trying to access the zone uh, it will have an amount of time uh, to leave it has a serial number that would, will identify the zone 
and this number increments every time there is a change made on the zone. Then we have the NS records on name server. Uh, it identifies the computer that holds the records of the domain or subdomain. So this will be the name that your DNS server has. For example, uh, server one or NS one, like name server one, or depends on the name you gave to your computer. Okay, there is a A record. It's called A uh, host record. It allows the assignation of, of uh, a name to an IP address. Uh, for example, www is a A record that points to 192.168.1.25. So if you pin example.com, like www.example.com, uh, the pin will resolve 192.168.1.25. These are made up numbers and names. So if you try to ping it, it won't resolve unless you create those records exactly like that on your DNS server. This is a PTR, a point to record. Uh, it's used on the reverse lookup zone that we talked before. Uh, what it does is inverse of an A record. So if you do an NS lookup for the IP 192.168.1.25, it will give you back www.example.com. Okay, there is also a C name record. It is a called canonical name or is an alias, alias sorry, as well. Uh, what it does is it allows you to have one record with different names or one resource to be accessed through different names. For example, you can access 192.168.125 uh, through www or web server. Okay, so I can put as many names as I want with a C name and I can have them all pointing to the same IP. It is a MX record or mail exchange. Uh, it resolves where your mail server is. That's pretty much all it does. And there is a SRB or service location uh, record as well. It, uh, it is only used with some applications that will require this. For example, Active Directory requires this kind of record. So you won't have to create it unless uh, application, an application requires it. Uh, so we have seen what is DNS. We have seen the roles of DNS. Uh, what are the zones and what are the records on the zone? I hope you like this video. Uh, I make it as short as I could. So if you like it, please comment and share. And you're welcome to visit uh, my blog at www.jhclats.com. Sorry. Uh, I will post this pretty soon uh, as an article. If you don't like the video, you can read it. But why wouldn't you like the video? It's an amazing video. Uh, anyway. Um, thanks for watching, like and share, uh, have a good day.